and welcome or welcome back to my channel, California Garden Goddess, where we hope we grow in the Golden State and beyond. I'm your host, Anna Harris, and today we're going to be talking all about peppers. It's the perfect time to start your peppers here in mid-February to March, no matter where you're living. These are my top 10 peppers for 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content and be tuned in to all of my favorite how-to videos and where I show you exactly how to grow your garden. Peppers are my absolute favorite and they're the crop that I've been growing the longest. They do really well in containers and they're something that you can grow even if you have a small space and you don't really have a garden like I do. But in the California garden, peppers are one of the perfect things to plant at this time. They do take a while to germinate and they take a while to grow. So that's why this is a very good option for you to start right now. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 peppers that I'm uh, excited to start this year. I have a few peppers that I've overwintered and they're doing pretty well. I've been actually harvesting some peppers uh, most of the year, which has been really nice. Um, but today we're gonna to be talking about the hottest peppers to the most mild that everybody can enjoy. When we talk about peppers, we also have to talk about the Scoville heat unit. Now, what exactly is a Scoville heat unit? Well, the Scoville heat unit tells you exactly how hot a pepper will be. It goes from zero, which is very mild, like a Shizito pepper, to very, very hot, like a habanero, or even hotter, the ghost chili, the Carolina Reaper, all very hot chilies that I do not enjoy eating and I am not recommending today. The Thai hot pepper rings in at from 50,000 to 100,000 Scoville units, which is very hot. This is the pepper that they use a lot in Thai cooking, thus the name Thai hot. It's one of the best uh, for growing in containers because the plant does stay very compact. However, it's very, very spicy. So you probably won't need to use as much as you would for some of these other chilies. And these are really more for like people who really, really like hot chilies. This next chili, the black pearl, is actually supposed to be so hot that it's supposed to be more for ornamental use than actually for eating. This one rings in at 15,000 to 30,000 Scoville heat units and is the second hottest on our list. Next up is a variation of the humble jalapeno. Now this one would actually turn yellow when it's ripe, so it's really like a beautiful addition. You can do the green and the yellow in a can, that kind of thing when you're canning. And it's supposed to be have the same heat and it has a touch of citrus. So I have not tried this one before. It's supposed to have between 2,500 and 5,000 Scoville heat units. And it's supposed to be, um, you know, similar to the jalapeno, but I kind of find the like the flavor of a jalapeno lacking. So I'm excited to try this one. Next up, we have the Hungarian hot wax pepper. This is from Johnny's Seeds. And this is a great one if you are living in a cooler environment. And in fact, this is what many people swear by in colder environments because they do mature very early, even in cool and wet weather. Um, here in Southern California, we've actually been having a lot of cool and wet weather. So I wanted to try this one out and see how it tastes. These are supposed to be absolutely beautiful. They come in a range of colors ranging from red, orange, and yellow. So they start off as being like yellow, then turned to orange and then to red. So I'm just really excited to try these peppers. They do have larger fruits, which is nice. They're like five and a half inches by one and a half inches. And it does have a little bit of a wide range for the Scoville heat units. Between 1,000 and uh, 15,000 Scoville heat units is what this rated for. So, um, you know, when you're doing peppers, you're gonna have a difference in the heat of peppers that are even on the same plant because there's a different variation of what the heat they're exposed to, the soil, that kind of thing. So it's hard to tell exactly how hot our pepper will be. In general, obviously with something like this, if you're growing something in a hotter climate, it actually will lead to hotter peppers. So when I was growing up, we would be growing inland and those would be hotter than the peppers that people would be growing by the coast. So sometimes they'd be growing like a ghost chili and I'm guessing it might have, have the heat of like a habanero uh, typically grown. So it's just something that's interesting to find out about the peppers. They can vary quite a bit. Next is a pepper that's supposed to be absolutely tangy and delicious and great for hot sauce. 
This is the Bikino pepper and it's between 1000 and 2000 Scoville heat units. So it's more mild than a jalapeno. Um, you harvest these when they turn yellow or red because there's both in this kind. Um, and they're just little small fruits, like three quarters of an inch to uh, an inch and a quarter. Um, so they're just small, but this is from Brazil and I'm really excited to try this one in my garden this year. This next chili pepper is one that is absolutely one of my family's favorites and one that we uh, were introduced to salsa in terms of hot, like the heat of chilies. And so this is the Flaming Flare Fresno Chili. Um, these are a little bit more of a medium sized pepper. They're like four inches long. Um, they will ripen to a bright red and they just have this amazing flavor. They're a little bit more mild than a jalapeno typically is. So they're excellent for children. Um, you can really use them for fresh use in stir fries, for sauteing, in hot sauce. They're just delicious. And these are like 500 to 1000 Scoville heat units. So like I said, more milder, or sorry, milder than a jalapeno. Okay, so this next one is the Mad Hatter pepper. And this has between 500 and 1000 Scoville heat units, just like the last one. Um, I really like the shape of this pepper. They look really like kind of funky looking and they're also called Bishop's Crown. Uh, the plants get pretty big and bushy so they might do better in the ground than in a container. And the actual peppers are about two and a quarter inches in diameter. Um, so these are supposed to be like moderately sweet with floral and citrus notes. So I'm excited to use these in cooking. This one is an absolute favorite of my dogs, Winston. He loves these Jimmy Nardello peppers. I don't have any footage of him eating them, but he loves them and he's he'll go out and just start chomping on them. So I'm excited to grow these again this year for my dog. Um, the peppers can actually get quite uh, big, uh, six to 12 inches. Um, I'm really excited to like grow these again because where I grew them last time, they didn't do so well. So I think that we're gonna try them in a container this time and see how that, how that goes. These are supposed to be very sweet and then have a rich flavor as well. I have not really eaten them because my dog would always eat them and we didn't have a lot of production. Okay. Next on my list is the Shizito pepper. Now this is the perfect pepper for snacking. The peppers average three and a half inches to four inches. They're heavily wrinkled and they look like they would be hot. And sometimes you will get a hot one, but for the most part, most of them are actually really tasty and very mild. Um, these have grown for me better in the ground. The most Shizito peppers seem to grow better in the ground for me than in containers. I think that to produce heavy amounts of fruit, they prefer to be in the ground, at least where I live. Last on my list is the best pepper that I'm absolutely excited to try this year. And this is the Carmen pepper. Now this is a variety of the Corno di Toro, which is the bull's horn. I might've mispronounced that, sorry. I don't know Italian as well as I do Spanish. Um, but these are going to be excellent roasted, grilled, and in salads. So I'm really excited to have this nice uh, and mild pepper without any heat at all. Um, I love Italian food, so Italian peppers are the way to go. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, useful, or informative in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel where you'll be notified of all of my latest how-to gardening videos. Bye and have a great day. You guys like the rain? What do you think, Buster? No, not a fan? What about you, Winston? You like the rain?